What's going on, guys? On this episode of On the Set, I'm checking out Insidious the Red Door, the latest in the franchise. This one brings back Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, and Ty Simpkins, who's a lot older now. So let's get into it. The film starts off with a scene from the second movie where Josh and Dalton are getting hypnotized by Elise's friend Carl to forget about the further and anything to do with them being able to astral project. Cut to present day, the family's attending Josh's mother's funeral, and it appears as though Josh and Renee are divorced and Josh has a strained relationship with Dalton. We learn that after the events of the second film, Josh has been distant from them and hasn't really been the same ever since. Dalton's getting ready to start college, and Josh volunteers to drive him there in hopes of rekindling their relationship. But once they get to the college, Dalton's true feelings about everything surface, causing them to get into a huge argument. Josh storms off, and Dalton meets his new roommate, Chris, who seems like the total opposite of him. Dalton is pretty closed off and just wants to focus on his art. He does a lot of drawings and stuff, but Chris tries to break him out of his shell. Later on, during art class, Dalton's teacher tells him to look deep within himself for inspiration to paint. But when he does this, he envisions the red door, the door to the further, and opens it by accident. Following that, he starts to experience weird things. Meanwhile, back at home, Josh starts seeing things as well, including a strange figure who's been following him around. Josh tells Dalton that he'll seek help and that it may get his life back on track. So he goes to get an MRI, feeling that maybe it'll detect whatever's wrong with him. But all it does is lead to more sketchiness from the further. After that, Dalton and Chris go to a frat party where Dalton sees the ghost of a kid who died in the house a long time ago. The kid appears and tells him to close the door before puking all over his face. When Chris gets too creeped out, Dalton explains that he's been seeing and experiencing things lately. So... She does the good friend thing and does some research and finds a video from Elise about astral projection. But of course, Dalton doesn't remember who she is. Then, Chris helps Dalton go into the further for answers. Meanwhile, Josh reaches out to Renee for help and she tells him about how Carl hypnotized them a long time ago, which, of course, he doesn't seem to remember. Also, Josh finds out that the figure who's been stalking him is his estranged father, who also had the ability to astral project. Dalton comes across the one responsible for everything, the old red-faced demon from the first movie, who then traps him in the further, and Josh has to go in to save him. Eventually, the two reunite, but Josh has to stay behind to stop the demon as Dalton escapes back to the real world. And, just as things look grim for Josh, Dalton saves him by painting over the red door with black paint, cloaking it in darkness and trapping the demon in the further. Josh makes it out, and the family reunites. In the end, Josh and Dalton make up, and things look like they might work out after all, after some encouraging words from the apparition of Elise. The end. I mean, it wasn't the greatest movie in the series, but it wasn't horrible. I like the connection to the first movie, with that red-faced demon, and how they tied in them forgetting about it all this time. I still don't understand the red-faced demon, though. Is it Darth Maul? Like, what is that supposed to be? For a second, I thought they were going to reveal it to be Josh's dad, but... They didn't. Anyway, it's at least worth a watch, so go check it out. And with that, guys, I'll see you later.